Governor of Jersey, he's everywhere. He was Ever on quotable Chris He was Christie. on Morning Joe this morning. Take a look. Connecticut's governor is raising taxes. Yeah, well, let me Wisconsin's tell you something. Governor I guess what? And, and I'll be and I'll be waiting at the border to take Connecticut's jobs when he does it. You know, he's still got to read the governor's. He's coming in. You want he's to got talk to, to He's got to read the governor's owner's manual can, can, first can, can, before can, can, he starts. Can we hold on one second? People. Chris Christie picking a fight with the new governor of Connecticut. God, uh, like I said, the quotable governor. All right, we are now grow, uh, joined by Tom Golisano, uh, who is the spokesman for National Popular Vote, a major political figure in the state of New York, somebody that I covered many moons ago when he was running for governor. Uh, Tom Golisano, it's great to have you here on Top Line. Nice to be here, John. So now you are, are part of this effort, National Popular yeah. Vote, which is to cut away the power of the Electoral College and make our presidents well, it, truly elected by popular vote. As, as I understand it, it, the idea here is to have state legislatures decide that they will award their electors not to uh, who their state voted for, but to whoever won the popular vote nationally. Is that correct? Exactly right. Uh, one correction, we're not eliminating, eliminating the Electoral College, we're just modifying it. Uh, You're right taking now, away its power. <laughs> no, You're we're modifying it. it. No, we're modifying it. Uh, we're taking away the Electoral College uh, award, award system. Yes, that's true. But here's the basic premise. 75% of the people in the United States of America believe that the person that gets the most votes should be the person that becomes the president of the United States. And but isn't the way to do that to change the Constitution? Why would, don't you have no, to change the Constitution to, if you want to change that? No, excuse me. What is in the Constitution is a delegation of authority to the states to come up with a process to elect the president of the United States. And 200 years ago, uh, a number of states, far less than we have now, came up with the process that we have today, which is the winner-take-all rule. 50.1% of the votes in a particular state for a particular candidate gives that candidate <laughs> all the electoral votes for that state, which means the other 49%, their vote doesn't count beyond that point. Now, consequently, what we've had in our history is four elections where the president, presidential candidate with the least number of votes has won the office. Uh, nobody would say that was democratic. The other thing that this also includes is you know how the media puts our states into two categories, flyover states yes. and battleground states? Well, what that <laughs> yeah, means is the presidential that. candidates, the presidential candidates in the last election spent 98% of their money and time in just 15 states. In the other 35 states, uh, were just flown over by the candidates. Now, what that means is these the participants or the voters in these 35 states are basically ignored, and promises so, and pork barrel and all that type of thing goes to these uh, what they call swing states. It's a, it's a fascinating effort, and you've already got a number of states that have that are on board now, right? Yeah, we need we need 270 electoral votes uh, by in, you know by state. And currently, we're already at 27 percent. And what we are and, here and the, in Washington, and the New York State Senate, and the New York State Senate just overwhelmingly approved this. Yes, the New York State Senate has been very much in, in favor of this. Uh, the California Legislature has passed it twice uh, in in previous years, and there's a good possibility that we'll, the governor will sign it this year. So there's a real momentum behind this, and the basic premise is every vote should count the same, and the candidate with the most votes should win the election. All right, Tom. Sounds Galatine. fair to me. National popular vote. We love All it. Right. Interesting, interesting okay, concept. Guys. Getting some traction in the states. Uh, nothing like uh, pondering some electoral college possibilities, John. Okay. All right. So uh, okay. thank you, and, and come back to us when you're ready to run for governor of New York again. <laughs> All right. Uh, Twitter.com/slash/RickKlein. Twitter.com/slash/JohnCall. You were a cover reporter. Yes. On his campaign. Covering that campaign.